Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we are going to look at three offerings from the company Concept Knives. Now if you're not familiar with Concept Knives, Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions and I have started taking a look at Concept Knives going back to SHOT Show 2020. Now at this point, it's been a full year. They've gone through their initial production and they're starting to come out with some very nice new designs. And not only is Concept coming out with new designs, they're starting to work with a number of designers. So Concept Knives really now going to the next level for their second year. And in today's video, we have three models that we're gonna take a look at here. The Goblin, here, the Little Main Street, and finally, the Pelican EDC. All three of these reasonably new designs coming in at the end of 2020 and into 2021. So with that said, I have a whole bunch to talk to you about and a whole bunch to show you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the representatives at Concept Knives who did provide these products for review. Now again, going back to some of the knives we've taken a look at in the past, the first round of knives coming out of Concept was the beautiful titanium finish using premium steels, S35VN frame lock design, absolutely gorgeous anodized hardware in certain cases, beautiful fit and finish, and just a great entry into the knife market. And so that's where the first one we're gonna take a look at today. This is the Pelican EDC. Now this Pelican EDC is by the designer K Maxrum, which if you take a look at K Maxrum, it's very interesting because this particular designer, well, he has a lot of different Pelican models. This one here being the Pelican EDC. But if you take a look at his entire design lineup, there are a number of them. So from his own, you know, personal designs and personal fabrication, fixed blades and folders, to then moving forward, you'll see some from Fox Knives. You'll also see some from Kaiser. And so here, the concept Pelican EDC. So very, very fitting to his overall lineup. You'll see here, just very reminiscent of all his other designs. And it is a Pelican model. Now, the first thing I can tell you is this is just a great feeling, perfect size. And I would say good utility driven EDC knife. So a folding knife to me, for my typical purposes is going to be based around the utility capabilities. Well, this here, absolutely sweet. And as you can see, just beautiful action. I mean, the balance on this is wonderful. The overall blade shape at first, it's kind of like, well, eh, I'm not so sure. And for me, it took me a little bit to warm up to this. It really only took me to get it in my hands, but visually it took me a little bit to warm up to this. And as soon as I got it in my hands and I felt how that knife perfectly indexed and was really for me, the ability to do some good quality detailed work, slicing of boxes, you know, processing cardboard and packaging and things like that, it definitely worked very well. Now I like the clip, I like the shape, I like the overall fit and features on this knife. So K Maxrum and coming together with Concept Knives doing a wonderful job. The next knife here, this is the Little Main Street. Now this is a Dirk Pinkerton design. I greatly enjoy Dirk Pinkerton's work. I think he does a wonderful job. And similar to some of the other designers we're gonna talk about, Dirk Pinkerton also having his own knives and his own manufacturing, and he's worked with a bunch of other brands. I've taken a look at his knives from Artisan and Kaiser. Here we have the offering from Concept. And Concept's manufacturing is very, very good. Here's, here's a good, example of that. Look at how small and petite and tiny this knife is. Well, check this out. The action on this is phenomenal. I mean, even for this tiny little knife, I mean, that's just, that's crazy good. Um, I like this little knife. Now, this particular model here in G10 with 154 CM, and I am a big fan of 154 CM. I've had very good luck with it good overall edge retention, 
fairly easy to field sharpen, and I think it has pretty good overall corrosion resistance. So this here being a nice offering, and again, Dirk Pinkerton being sort of utility driven. Actually, I would say two main philosophies with Dirk Pinkerton. One, utility driven. Two, self-defense and oftentimes multi-positional handles. So even though this is a very small knife, this could be used as a nice little sort of concealable self-defense knife if you needed it. Without a doubt, awesome utility driven purpose. So this here, again, Dirk Pinkerton, the little Main Street, teamed up with Concept, nicely done. And here, this little guy, this is the Goblin. And as you saw right there, again, wonderful action. Now, this particular knife here is a Marshall Noble design, which I'm going to be honest, I'm not too familiar with Marshall Noble's work. This is a front flipper, which I'm just not good at. But when you look at Marshall Noble's designs, similar to Dirk Pinkerton, a lot of what I would say utility driven designs. And that's exactly what you have here. Now, this caught me by surprise. Even though this is a very, very small knife with a very small blade, what I do like is, well, check it out. You end up with this choil here, which means you can almost get a full four fingered grip. This is really, I'd call it three and three quarter finger grip for a very small folder which is cool. So when you need it for the utility driven purposes, that's gonna work very nice. It indexes wonderfully in your hands. It has all the fit and finish we've come to expect from Concept Knives. So again, Marshall Noble coming together here with this nice little goblin and beautiful manufacturing from Concept. And now getting into these in a little more detail, here you will see again, the goblin, the little Main Street and the Pelican EDC. Again, just nicely done, and you can see them here displayed on their box. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on the box. If you'd like to get some better understanding of the packaging, you can go back and check out one of my prior reviews of Concept Knives, where I do go into it in detail. But here you will see the Goblin. Now this particular Goblin here, you will see is in a CPM S35 VN steel. This having what's called the Dark Copper anodized titanium handle and that's one thing you'll notice from concept is they are coming out with a number of different styles different finishes different looks and feel and this one here beautiful has that satin blade finish and just nicely done blue anodized titanium hardware all the way around and very very cool and when you look at this design there are a few things that stand out one is it's got that little stubby nose, which I actually do like that, but it's got enough of a point that you can get your finger on there. You can do some nice work. And when you index, you'll notice there's a lot of places you can grab onto, which is pretty cool. So mild jimping on the top, nicely contoured and fits nicely in your hand. And you'll see just for doing some detailed work, that's gonna work nice. Now, I haven't carried this a ton, but when I have carried it, I have definitely enjoyed it. And one of the things I think is pretty cool about this as you look, just sort of a unique pocket clip. So again, here you'll see Marshall Noble doing a nice job with the design, thinking just a little bit outside of the box, adding a little touch of flair. Here getting into the little Main Street. So again, there are a number of different finishes here. This particular one in black, G10. This has 154 CM with a black coated blade. You'll notice that some of the hardware is black and the pivot screw here is polished. Now, I think for me, one thing I would have liked is just a fully blacked out model. That might have been pretty cool. I mean, either way, not a big deal, but just I think fully blacked out for me would have taken it where you get the black pocket clip, even all of your frame screws and your clip screws are black. Your thumb studs are black. Everything about this, even the frame, they have blacked out. So at this point for me, I guess you do end up with just that one little pop. It's pretty cool. I do like this knife a lot. And in fact, there are other models that have, listen to that action for such a little knife. Listen to that. I mean, just nice click, nice pop, very easy. I mean, the thumb stud's a little bit tight, but it works, and you could see I was capable of flicking this open with ease. So overall, I gotta say, it is pretty cool. Now, 
as I was saying, I do like some of the other offerings. For example, they have bicarta. They also offer other steels, which is nice. But for such a little knife to come with the 154 cm and just be so beautifully done, I am very impressed. Mild jimping, some jimping on the back there, mostly for style, but a little bit of grip. Just really, really cool. And as I had mentioned a couple of times, I am a big fan of Dirk Pinkerton in his designs. And finally now, taking a closer look at the Pelican EDC. Now I do think this has a wonderful design. I absolutely love this. I have enjoyed this quite a bit. So you'll see here this particular finish. This is what they're calling the 6ALV4 titanium handle. Now as I look at it here, I do not see any tumbling. So it's not really like a stonewash finish. It's a nice, even, almost satin, which is nicely done. You'll see blue anodized hardware all the way around. So from your pivot screw and your frame screws, your thumb stud, and even on the back side there with the clip. And one other detail that I've come to greatly enjoy is on the back side here, you'll see even a little bit of pop in the back spacer. So wonderfully done. I think that's a nice style, looks really cool, and is fully integrated into some jimping. Then also, as you take a look, just a nicely done lanyard hole. So beautiful. Overall, I am extremely interested in these K-Maxroom designs. I think getting my hands on other K-Maxroom designs is going to be something I'm going to look forward to. I really, really would love to get one of his own personal fixed blade models from his own manufacturing. I think it would be really, really neat. But overall, definitely this Pelican EDC from Concept being another wonderful design. So overall, K-Maxroom doing a wonderful job and I think this knife is really, really cool. And so here real quick, you will see the overall size comparison amongst some of the concept models. So first again, the little Main Street, the Goblin, the Pelican EDC, the Warrior. Then we get into the Cryo. And finally on top, the Agent. And as you look here, I have pretty much looked at some of the, call it larger options here. But then today, getting into more of the medium and smaller options from concept and that again is kind of where they started on some of the larger and more premium blades and at this point they have since expanded into some of the more I would say just pocketable friendly options so all of these very nicely done concept knives doing a beautiful job lots of different shapes sizes materials finishes and now designers so from concept knives just beautifully done so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at three beautiful offerings from Concept Knives. As I've mentioned in the past, I am a huge fan of Concept Knives. I think they're doing a wonderful job and especially coming fresh, literally only like a year and a half ago, that's a big deal. I mean, to walk into their second year, all the marketing, all the social media, getting their initial batch of knives out, now working with some great designers and improving and I would say like rounding out their catalog, they're doing a great job and they're moving quickly. They have a lot of traction, they have a lot of fans, and their quality just shows. So again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Concept Knives for providing these for review. And for all of you watching, I do think that if you're looking to get yourself into a nice, and I'm gonna say premium knife, Concept Knives is definitely putting out premium knives. And if you're looking for something small and pocketable to your midsize and even some slightly larger EDC folding knives, Concept Knives might have a model for you. So everything from, again, the Pelican, to the Goblin, to the Little Main Street, different designers, love getting a new Dirk Pinkerton in my hands. Overall, Concept Knives is doing a wonderful job. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.